hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Kiera don't forget to like this video and subscribe don't forget to subscribe so right now I'm getting ready um me and my friend Kazaya we're gonna go out tonight we're gonna go out tonight and I'm gonna take y'all along I want this to be like a weekend vlog but I don't know if I got enough stuff I'm gonna be doing this whole weekend so we'll see we see how it turned out but um I am running late so I'm gonna go put my outfit on and finish my hair and then I'll show y'all my outfit when I'm done cuz it's cute So it has been a, a lot of days since I picked up the camera last. It is Thursday. Um, right now, I'm getting ready to go to Sierra's house. Um, we're about to all hang out and eat. I don't know why I feel so low energy right now. Probably because I'm hungry. All I ate today was some eggs and some bacon. That's probably what it is. I'm probably hungry. But yeah, this wig was really cute. I think I'm gonna end up buying another one. This is a synthetic wig. Um, so it's starting to get nappy and it's not doing what it needs to do anymore. I think I'm gonna buy another one because I really like how this wig looks on me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get a little spice, a little razzle dazzle on me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let me show y'all my outfit before I walk out the door. So first, um, I have this pullover. This is from H&M. It's really cute. UCLA, I didn't go to college. And then underneath here, I have on this bodysuit. Uh, this is from Amazon. It'll be linked down below. This is so comfortable. I ended up buying the gray one too. And the brown one, it should be here tomorrow. Because you know, I really like the two piece sets. They're really comfortable, but it's nothing like being able to just slip one thing on. And it's like this nice rib material. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? It's real comfortable though, y'all. But like I said, it'll be linked down below in case y'all want to get one. Yeah, and I'm gonna carry my fashionable purse that I have on all the time and my Steve Madden sandals. I got the sandals from Amazon too. They'll be linked down below. Oh, one more thing before we leave. But I don't know if y'all remember a couple weeks ago, I had bought my friend's mugs. 
So I gave Bria and Tay their mug. So now I'm finally gonna see Kaziah and Sierra together so I can give them their mug. So I'm really excited about that. I definitely told Kaziah that I bought her a mug and I don't know if Sierra saw that I bought her a mug in my vlog, but it don't matter because I'm still excited to give it to him. So let's, let's head out to Sierra's house, y'all. I'm not take you out of Sierra's house. But, you know, I, I fully intended on vlogging once I got there. But once I got there, like, we was really just chilling. Like, we was just sitting down, talking, catching up. Because we haven't, like, hung out with Sierra in what seems like a month. So, y'all need to be there. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I decided to pick up the camera because I'm supposed to be vlogging. Um, and I have, like, some house decor things I want to do. So, I want to hang up the plaster art canvas that I made um in this video if you want to go check it out um I'll link it down below but I want to hang um that up and then I also want to put some black contact paper on my shoe rack because right now it's brown and the rest of my like other furniture is black and I ended up doing the same thing with my coffee table I put black contact paper on it so I need it to be cohesive. Yes, I move out of this apartment in five months, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> so let's go hang up the canvas. Okay, so this is the wall that I wanna hang it up on. Here is the canvas. I made it myself. I'm trying to figure out where I want it to be. I think right here is good, right? What y'all think? Can y'all see? Hold on. Let me move y'all. Is that better? Okay, I think that's better. So I'm thinking like, like right here. What y'all think? I think that's good. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and these are the command hooks that I'm gonna use. They're the 7.5 pound command hooks. These are it right here. These are the same command hooks that are holding up my canvas that I have in my living room. I think I have three of those, but I figured two should be good for this one, right? I mean, the canvas is really heavy because it has plaster on it, but should be fine, right? Honestly, before I even stick this up on the wall, I need to I need some mark where I want it to be. That would be smart. Jabria, are you smart? Yes. Okay. So now I need to mark where I want this to go on the wall. Or I could try to freestyle it. Should we freestyle it? I'm not gonna freestyle it, I'm gonna mess it up. I'm gonna freestyle it, I don't feel like measuring it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sit the canvas up against the wall where I want it to be, and I'm gonna just like move up. Let's see if that actually works. This one is higher, but let's see how it goes. It 
ignore the yellow. I'm not gonna lie. It don't look bad to me. I just really hope it don't fall in the middle of the night because that's gonna scare me. Let me show y'all. Hold on, let me see how this is. good I love how it turned out let me bring y'all up close so y'all can see the detail you see the detail on that hoe yay my canvas is up it looks so good okay next we have my shoe rack this is what I was talking about it's brown and it doesn't match any of the other furniture or the aesthetic in my house. So we're gonna put the black contact paper on here. So I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> this is my third time recording this because I'm really special. But, so this is my shoe rack, like I was saying. It's brown, it doesn't match anything in this room. So here is the contact paper that I'm gonna be using. It's this matte black textured um contact paper it's so really nice it's really nice it's the same paper that's on my um coffee table so yeah i'm just gonna put this on here and this should be pretty easy because i think this comes off yeah this lifts up so i'm gonna let y'all watch me do this contact paper i'm happy i finally did it is it perfect no but baby it's a shoe rack we got more important things in life to stress us out than this shoe rack being perfect what matters is that it now matches my living room aesthetic all right so now that all of my little house renovations are done i'm gonna pack up these orders i really didn't do anything today that i was supposed to that that i was supposed to do um i was supposed to film a bunch of content today i filmed no content but i did figure out my halloween costume and i'm really excited about it can't wait for y'all to see it um, last year I was Lola Bunny and I mean I didn't really have to do too much to get ready for that but just do my makeup and be cute but you know this year I'm doing something like you know with some face paint so I'm really excited to do this and a ball cap like I'm gonna be a little extra for this Halloween. like somebody was in my room that was scary but what i have been doing all day today is watching you the third season of you has came out and that mess is crazy i've been watching you all day today and then last night me sierra and kaziah were watching 
made on Netflix. And I've seen the previews for that so many times, but I was just like, I'm not going to like that. I don't want to watch it. But Sierra recommended us to watch it because we couldn't watch Zola. Um, I've already seen Zola. If you've seen Zola, first off, the movie was so good, but the ending had me so mad. Like, it was like they ran out of money. Like, their budget was done. They was like, okay, we're just going to cut it right here. The ending was really irritating. But the movie was really good. But Zola is not a kid-friendly movie, and the kids were there, so Sierra recommended we watch Maid, and Maid was actually really good. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. When I tell you, oh my god, when I tell you the main character be getting on my nerves, it makes me so upset that she don't stick up for herself, like, it makes my blood boil. So I'm like, girl, say something. But yeah, so the majority of the day today, I was watching you and then I got tired of watching you because so I was just watching it over and over back to back. So I was like, let me go back to May. So that's what I was watching before I came on the camera. And when I finish this, I'm about to go watch Maid again. I'm probably going to finish that season tonight before I go to sleep. But honestly, I really can't stay up too late because tomorrow I want to go shoot content. I have to be productive. I really only have five months left until I get out the Navy, so I got to stop being lazy. It's hard. But you do need a day of rest, so... I'm just going to chalk it up as today was my day of rest. So tomorrow I got to get up early and get my work done. I can't wait until I start this skill bridge program because I will be um, at home every day working for my Google IT security cert. And um, like I said, I'll be here at home every day. So I'll be able to really focus on my business stuff, all my social media for my last five months in the Navy. But right now I'm packing up my ultimate planners. It's a budget book, weekly planner, monthly planner, goal tracker, to-do list, grocery list, meal planner. There's so much in this planner. And it's only $25. The link for it will be down below. My big goal is to sell all of my physical copies. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't put the barcode on there straight. It's gotta be straight so they can scan it. Oh, this is stressful. Okay, there we go. But I was saying my big goal is to sell all of my physical copies that I have here, my inventory, um, so that when I leave, I'm still gonna be selling the Ultimate Planner, but it's gonna be just straight through Amazon because I'm gonna be traveling and stuff, so I'm not gonna be able to ship out orders. And the reason why I didn't, you know, just do solely Amazon in the first place is because Amazon takes like a big like percentage of your money. And I was like, I can just make a website and I can get, you know, all of my money. So that's what I did. I'm done packing orders, so let's move to the couch so we can we can talk about some things. Let's let's, let's chit chat, let's talk. So y'all know I get out of the military in March, and my plan is to go to Bali. Right when I get out, you know, just to kick off my traveling, you know, kind of relax and detox from being in the Navy, like a celebration, you know, I did at the time, it'll be eight years in the military. So it's like, you know, like a, 
a freedom trip, if you will. But today I was kind of, you know, looking at flights and looking at different places. And I was thinking about Japan because, you know, I used to live in Japan. Um, so I was like, I would really like to go back to Japan. But the thing about Japan, y'all, Japan is expensive. The cost of living in Japan is really expensive. And so I was looking at Airbnbs and stuff like that, you know, places to stay when I, well, first I was looking at hostels. So I found like a couple hostels and like I was looking at the rooms because honestly, I really don't want to share a room with somebody. We could share a bathroom, even though I still don't want to do that, but I just don't want anybody else sleeping in the room with me. I didn't even like that when I was in the Navy, but you know, with Navy people, you're kind of under, under contract. So you're not going to act too crazy, but these are like complete strangers that have no obligation to act right. It could strangle you in your sleep, but I'm not into that. Um, so yeah, I want to have my own room. So I was looking at the hostels, you know, to stay for a month and it was like $1,800, right? So I looked at Airbnb just to see, you know, what it was. And they had like, you know, your own apartment for like $800. So I was like, I might as well just get my own apartment in an Airbnb. But like I said, the cost of living in Japan is way more expensive like to go eat and everything like that so and then transportation like so i'm probably gonna end up just going to bali and staying in bali for maybe two months two three months we'll see and then um maybe i'll travel just to go visit japan for a little bit because i'll be on that side of the world so my plane ticket won't be as expensive and a travel hack that I learned on TikTok. Um, so I use Skyscanner. Some people use Hopper. But you like type in. Um, you just push the anywhere button. And so it'll just bring up. You know different flights that you can go to. Yes ma'am. But if you just click anywhere, it'll pull up a list of like different places you can go and it'll give you like an approximate, you know, flight and they're normally really cheap. So I'll probably like choose like a little anywhere feature whenever I want to go to Japan so I can get a nice cheap ticket. I'm kind of keeping my eyes out for the dates that I want to go to Bali so I can get me like a $500 ticket to Bali because that would be lit. The only thing with Skyscanner though, they be having really long layovers. So... I don't know if I want to do that. It would be nice if the layover was during the day because then like wherever I'm at, I can go and explore. But we'll see. I'll probably just end up going to Bali first. But I know I definitely want to go to Japan. So, you know, to help your girl out, go buy one of them planners, okay? The planner is going to benefit you with helping you, you know, organize and plan your life. And it's going to help me to fund me while I'm traveling. And so y'all can see these great travel videos that are going to come. But yeah, y'all, that is uh, the end of this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It was a little all over the place, a lot of montages. But, you know, we kind of brought it together at the end. But if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.